Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, as you lot know, my name's Tyro and Edgar. Yeah. I started, I'll say I started athletics when I was the age of 14. Some say that's pretty old, but with me, within me, I think within athletics, it doesn't matter what age you start, just so long as if you know you're good, you're going to be good regardless. As I said, I started at the age of 14. I was bored in the house. My mum didn't even let me go to the streets. Uh, I was never allowed just to go out, play football. Sometimes I wasn't just allowed just to go out. But once I found athletics, my mum was quick just to let me go. Mum, I'm going to the track. All right, go. Mum, I'm going to the streets. Nah, uh, go read your book. So I decided to do athletics, which was pretty good for me. Um, I started off running 13 seconds. And if anyone knows what 13 seconds is for 14 year old boys, not the greatest. But what did I do? I stayed committed to the sport. I kept on training three, four times a week. I was at the track when it was snowing, raining, wet, freezing. And every year I got better. So from the age of 14 upwards, I just kept on bringing my time down, down, down and down. So, you know, um, I can, all my major achievements, I've been through being, uh, I done, and I, I've done a lot of events as well. I've done 100, the 200, the long jump, the javelin, high jump, shot put, discus. I even tried pole vault. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but I tried it. I think you kids now are doing a great job. Coming to the S Factor two, three times a week or wherever it is a Saturday and, and being committed to a co the coaches over here. These, these are great people. These people are here for you. You could be on the streets right now. But no, you're here, you're training. I could be looking at the next Olympic champion right in my face here. Do any of you not believe you can be an Olympic champion? Do you believe, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh my God, I don't, I don't hear any belief in that, boy. I said, do any of you not believe you can be an Olympic champion? Yeah! That's how I want you guys to be. Whenever anyone asks you to do anything, you need to believe. Believe is a strong and a big word. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe yourself wherever you go to school and you're doing homework or you're reading your book, you need to believe. I believe that I can win a medal at the World Championships in the relay. That's why I went. I believed when I was 14 years old that I could be somebody. I believed that I could, when I walked the street, people could look up to me one day. And my belief, it came true. Half of my dreams have come true. I've got, I've, I've got a degree, I've ran fast, I've got a couple of medals. Now the next part of my dream is to win an Olympic medal in London in 2012. Now, ask me, do I believe I could win a medal? Yeah. Ask me. Do you, could, can you win a medal? Yes, I believe I can <laughs> win a medal in 2012. That's how I want you guys speaking. When your coaches Positive. speak to you, when your coaches speak to you, uh, can you run this 100 meters? Yes, I can run this 100 meters. Do you think you can run fast? Yes, I can run fast. You're smiling. That's what I mean. It's all about smiling and having fun and doing it. I believe in all you kids. I believe in my friend Lisa over there. She's done a great camp with you guys. She calls me all the time and says she's got great athletes here. And I came and saw you guys and you guys are fantastic. You, you guys can do it and always believe in yourself. Don't let anyone ever tell you never or you can't do stuff because you can. People tell me that all the time. You can't do this, you can't do that. I never listened to them one time. I believe and I believe in you guys. And you guys are great people. So that's what I have for you guys today. But if any of you high guys have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. I think you deserve the clap. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.